Hi, and welcome to the Mobile Developer Builder Series. My name is David Ha, and I'll be your guide as we build a mobile application together on the Now platform. Today, we're going to walk through the very first few steps in building a new scripted data item. Today, we're going to create a scripted data item that shows me my assigned task where my skill sets do not match the skill sets needed for the task. In times like these, I want the ability to reject these tasks when it's assigned to me. When configuring this, a scripted data item is needed because a declarative data item won't work since there's no relationship between the skills in the work order task table and the skills in the user table. So to get started, we're going to create a scripted data item. Then we're going to create a new applet. And then lastly, we'll associate a reject action function to my applet. We'll start with the scripted data item. We can either do that in Studio or we can do it on platform using listen forms. In this video, I will demonstrate where you can get to your backend tables where you can find more advanced configurations. All the things that you can do in Studio, you can also do on platform where all this data exists. And today, we're going to create a scripted data item in one of those backend tables. Let's get started. Outside of Studio, on our instance, in our left hand navigation panel, let's look up mobile. I can see some of my mobile backend tables here, like functions and action items. What we want to open up is mobile data items. We'll create a new data item here. And immediately you'll see that the data item uh, configuration screen is very similar to CEO, except this lives on our backend table and platform. So now let's go ahead and name our data item. We'll name it my task, missing skills. We'll select the task table. And then for the condition type, instead of declarative, we'll change that to script. Once I change it to script, we'll see our JavaScript editor here. Now all we have to do is write the script I've already created one ahead of time, so let's go ahead and paste that in. And in short, what the script is doing is showing me tasks where my skills don't match the necessary skills to complete this task. And then once we're done, we'll go ahead and click Submit in the top right. Our next step is to create an applet and then select the datum that we just created. So on our left-hand navigation panel, let's look up Studio and hop into it. We'll select our scope. And then on the left-hand navigation panel, let's open up this pop-out icon next to Mobile Builder. We'll create a new applet and we'll name this applet my task missing skills. We'll give it an icon and color. And then we'll select the list template as well as bring the activity stream over. Once we're done, we'll click new. Now we just have to select the data item that we just created, which is my task missing skills. And then we select the fields that we want to display on this list applet. From our template on E1, we'll bring over priority. For E2, we'll bring over number. E3, short description. And then for E4 and E5, I don't have to necessarily fill these out, so I'll go ahead and skip them, and I'll skip directly to E6. For E6, I'll bring over skills. And I'll move that down from E4 to E6. And then I'll click save in the top right. And then in our second layer view, we'll tap into details tab. For our details header, let's go ahead and replicate from primary. And then in the body of our details, let's go ahead and bring over the location field as well. And then once we're done, we'll go ahead and save in top right. Now that our applet's complete, let's also associate a reject action to this applet. I've already created a scripted action for reject task ahead of time. So now let's go ahead and associate this as a swipe action on the primary screen of my applet. Going back into our primary screen tab again on this applet, let's click into functions. We'll create a new swipe function. We'll label this reject. It'll be a left swipe. And then we'll select our reject action. And then we'll click done. And then once we're done, we'll go ahead and click save in the top right of our applet, and then open this up on our mobile device. Back on our Asian app, let's refresh the home screen. We'll tap into mobile builder, and then I'll see an applet for my task missing skills. Let's go ahead and click into it. And here I'll see there's two tasks assigned to me where I don't have the skills needed to complete the task. It seems this first task has a skill of antenna installation, which I don't have. So let's go ahead and use a left swipe and reject this task. For the reject reason, let's go ahead and say skills not matching. We'll click done and submit. I'll get that success message on top. And now this task is no longer assigned to me. 
And in just minutes, we just created our very first scripted data item. This wraps up our quick intro to scripted data items. Thank you for watching.